removing literally mountains out here and trying not to impact the traveling public in the process. Our blasting subcontractor on this job is Controlled Blasting Services and their blaster in charge is Jim Millsaps. The whole point of my job is to make their job a whole lot easier than what it would be. The cost of hammering rock is exponentially higher than, than blasting it. When we shot this, it was over in about seven tenths of a second. Whereas if they had to come out and hammer this, they'd be here for weeks, dunk, 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 dunk. And you can feel that hammer. What we're doing mostly out here is production blasting, where you drill on a grid. And the goal of that is to take solid rock and break it into smaller pieces that we can excavate. It doesn't get much tougher than this. You've got almost everything you can imagine going against you. You've got tough geology to deal with. You've got power lines. You've got a main thoroughfare of traffic that's extremely busy that can't be shut down for extended periods of time. We're uh, very comfortable with him. He knows what he's doing. When we figured out where the customer wants us to shoot, we'll lay out the shot and then the driller comes in and drills all the holes. I've got some really good drillers. They uh, have a detailed log of what's in the geology and then I take that information as a blaster and use it to confine that energy to do as much work as I can without it getting out of control. A lot of people don't realize the amount of energy that goes on and when one of these holes detonates is equivalent to about 72 million horsepower. It's extremely serious and you have to take it very serious, you know. So for the public, we do rolling roadblocks that start roughly two and a half miles north and south of wherever we're blasting. For our crews, we obviously have to be a lot closer. I will designate a certain perimeter that I know if I've got everything cleared out of that area, it can't get hit. Those safety precautions are paramount you know, to the job. I don't have x-ray vision, and as good as we are at what we do, you can still have unforeseen seams that can act as a path of least resistance for that energy to shoot out a mud seam or a, a, a loose rock area. For people that are in their cars, if you're driving through this, there's nothing to be concerned about because we stop traffic miles away from the site.